Hello artists, we are nearing the end of 2022 and what a year it has been. Um, in episode 39 already of our talk, I discuss creativity and the process and how they are more being than doing. Creativity is intelligent having fun, Albert Einstein. Leonardo Vinci filled his studio with elements that would arouse his five senses. He wore velvet cloth to stimulate touch, changed the flowers of his studio every day to exalt the sense of smell, worked with music to awaken his hearing, and he probably loved good food too. So why do I start with a scientist? Because Einstein actually used his imagination and his ability to see or visualize. He then transferred that to his logical brain to work out his scientific ideas. Hence why science still not fully understands his work. Because whether you like it or not, Einstein's ability to use his imagination gave him far more insights than the scientists today can even see or feel by sheer thinking and analyzing only. Leonardo da Vinci understood the same, but used a different way to get into that flow state of mind. We, as artists, by the way, know so well, often. He used the five senses. Seeing, feeling, smelling, hearing, tasting. And his sixth sense. And that is what he used when he was in flow. It is that imagination that goes even further than just coming up with an idea. And it was Leonardo who started to, um, to, to, to view, to stare, gaze into the river and the flowing water, just watching the water flow. It's a meditative state. And you suddenly feel that we're all one. And he understood that. He understood the full oneness of everything. Well, for me, the process in itself is the best of all. And I really need a significant amount of time. Nowadays, you're somehow poor to do everything as quickly as possible. A painting in a few hours, show the end result. Now ill, better tomorrow. I needed that yesterday, but you asked me now. Yeah, but I still need it yesterday. It doesn't make sense. I understand, but it really dawned on me, that this is because we are used to doing and not being. So what has that to do with the process of being an artist? Using your imagination and creativity. When I hear that someone creates quick to have a feeling that the money was earned in a short amount of time, or is digitally painting because it takes less time, I feel overwhelmed. I have like, oh, I can't breathe. Where is the being in this? And the exchange of time for an artwork doesn't feel well to me. Hence why painting with oil, the way I do it, is more being than doing. And for those who are scared of oil or think it dries not quick enough, breathe it's by the way not true there are ways to handle that there are ways to you don't have to let layer over layer dry you can do wet in wet there are more techniques but that's another story and it dries quicker than you think either even if you really need to you you can use a specific gel that makes it dry in one day instead of the few days what it does to the art over time i don't know but that is not the point here. Here we talk about being. The process of being and how that relates to our creativity and the making of art. Making. Already a verb. It's already a doing thing. But it is not necessarily so. Because here is something I found. When I wake up early in the morning and meditate, Workout, 
write my morning pages and drink warm coffee. If there's no other appointments or appointment, I start painting the whole morning, eight to 12. That's my time, studio time. In that process, I'm not doing, I am, I be. Like Leonardo da Vinci is surrounding himself with his, all his senses. He is being and not so much doing. But because painting is not just walking to and from the canvas or sit behind a table easel painting a small piece. It is also taking distance and stop, sit, see, feel and be. That the brush, those brush strokes you put on come into you, the colors, absorb them. Look at the shapes and let your imagination run. You have to suck it all in and you will get more imagination or, as I say, you start to channel even more, especially when you do a commission and the person is not sitting with you. That artist is the process of painting. And I know some say it is very hard work. You really need to be passionate enough to learn it. It doesn't need to be that way. Of course, you have to work to learn it. But someone said, the amateur who is there every day will become a successful professional because that's how it works. If you love what you do, it's a natural. It does not feel like work. And that's it. Of course, it's not always the way you want it to work. And sometimes it is better to leave it for a while and to take something else. A fresh look can definitely help. And I found that it is when I'm more doing than being, it is where I get stuck. I'm trying to force. And remember that I once said it is power versus force, not the other way around. As Leonardo da Vinci used his five, or I would say six senses, I do too. I listen to music that brings me in a very calm, meditative state. I eat healthy, but nice. Eating healthy, by the way, makes your taste buds really very sensitive to good food. And the impact on my mental health and mental well-being is enormous. Then I can sit in silence and listen to my inner voice. Even when I sit in front of a painting I'm working on, I listen to my inner voice. I love the smell of oil, which gives me almost a sense of which colors I can squeeze out of the tube. The feeling is not that, as Da Vinci has with his velvet ropes to feel that. No, touching the brushes, however, is one of the ways how I decide which one to use. We all have our own routine, but the most important thing is to accept and fully enjoy the process. Be the process and don't force the painting to be ready. Even when you work with a gel, even when you work with something like acrylics, it can take a long time. I have seen people making old master type of still lives, miniatures with acrylic. And you also use um, a glazing, a glazing. It's not my medium, but yeah. It is never about the end result. And that has been forgotten in this very busy, chaotic world. We artists can bring that back. Give the people that calm, give them that sense of being, give them that sense of beauty, hope and love. That's why we are here. That's what we do. And if Einstein says creativity is intelligence having fun, yeah, I would say creativity is being, not doing. If that is intelligence or imagination or the use of all five or I would say six senses, is for you to discover. I personally think 
It is all of that. Thank you so much for listening. I know I promise you an interview, but next week there will be one. Absolutely. I really have that interview with author Elizabeth Amizu and her brilliant Sackadal series. And it's good that this comes before Christmas because getting this series into house gives you the most comfortable, loving, quiet reading experience for the holidays. I want you to ask me any questions if you have them. If you want me to discuss a topic, please put them in a comment or uh, mail me. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Karin Merix Fine Art, or Facebook, Karin Merix Fine Art, and even YouTube, Karin Merix Fine Art. How cool is that? YouTube has its own handle. Okay. Have a lovely week and speak, speak to you next week. Bye.